Wow! Did not see that coming. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Diamond Dave of Bad Medicine here to do a reaction to Fear the Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 1, titled The Beacon. As you can see, my cohort in the Walking Dead universe, Macy Quinn, is not here today. So enough of me babbling. Why don't we go on to an hopefully an awesome Season 7 of Fear the Walking Dead, Strand vs. Morgan. Man, I hope that happens. Let's go! Everything is just toast. I don't know how anything would be edible here. Got that to check out the radiation. Smart. Ugh. I would pass on that food too. Canned or not? How about you folks? Would you take a chance? Let me know down in the comments. They're in a van? Hey, quick thinking. Get in a van, try to survive, why not? Which it seems like he's trying to make a map of everything. Whoa, what is this? Oh, oh, dude, you gotta get out of there. Five cooked zombies, easy. Look at that shot. Okay, so someone was living up there. Looks pretty fresh too. Yuck. <clears throat> but I guess at the end of the day, when you you have nothing, I don't know, would you folks be able to do this? Let me know. <laughs> hey, that was your food, dude. Where's his mask? Is he just going to let it happen? Who the hell are you? Are you the ones who've been stripping the dead? Let's go. Hey, stop. Oh. Dude, what? This has to be the CRM, right? Oh, I gotta go through the decontamination stage now, dude. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I don't blame him. Oh, look where he's at. Dude, did Strand make an army already? Magnificent, isn't it? I don't want any trouble. Turn her out slowly. Strand's just got that Sinister voice going, folks. Who the hell are you? My name is Victor Strand. Slightly different tone now for the intro here. Gosh, this is what I wanted for quite some time now is a villain Victor Strand. And I think we're finally going to get it. Oh, so great. Coleman Domingo just has that voice too, every time. I really hope they catch us up though on how Victor was able to get this slight army here. And look at how Victor's dressed. Some kind of trick. You've been be given a meal and a drink. What's in this for you? A few questions. That's it. That's it. That's it. What's your name? Will. I was the senator's aide. Which senator? Elias Vasquez. Democrat. Where did you come from? Most recently, we were at a settlement that protected us from the blast. We wound up on the outside. And Senator Vasquez? He didn't make it. What have you seen? Who have you seen? My scout said you mentioned people stripping the dead. A couple of times I caught sight of them. They were sneaking up on the dead. Who are they? There's no faces out there anymore. It's just masks. Nice putt, Toby. My rangers scoured the landscape for anything of value. Anything worth preserving is here. Rangers. Not an army, not a group. Rangers. Damn, really? they got yoga? They with you before? We brought them in. Let them stay. If they're of value. What does that mean? He's the one asking the questions. Oh. This kind of character. Don't you dare talk or say any questions. Photos of every walker my rangers encounter, even the ones no longer walking. You're looking for someone in particular? Some of my denizens still have loved ones out in the world. I meant you. The world saw fire, ash, devastation. This place was empty when I first arrived. <laughs> Victor's such a showman. <clears throat> we thought it was the end, but when the dust settled, we were still standing. I can't help but get over Coleman's delivery here, it's fantastic. You did all of this since the bombs went off? How? Same way I ended up here, my instincts. Can someone please bring his belongings up to the roof? He's gonna be leaving Wait, us. You, you're kicking me out? Nothing personal, Will. Just an instinct. Good luck out there. I, I, I won't make it out there. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I had to see if you shared my vision. You don't. Victor's gonna, 
Victor's gonna be an awesome character this season, folks. I think you're gonna need this more than I do. Stop. I found it on one of the dead. Could you take me there to where you found it? I don't know, I, I, maybe. I'm gonna make you a deal, Will. Take me to where you found this. Help me find the owner of this necklace and I'll, I'll spare you the horrors of a life out there. And Pretty sure that was Alicia, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've seen that. Levels are low here. You can take the masks off. You don't have to worry about the ones who were killed by the blast. It's the ones who died from radiation or danger. So that would explain why earlier he had his mask off. Your tower's not the only place I'm not welcome. Let's just say my exit wasn't by choice. Success is the best revenge, Will. Focus on showing them that they were wrong, because that's how you win. We need to mask up. Water pulls contaminants out of the air. All right, I like how the writers are taking this, you know, a little bit more serious and more a little re realistic approach. What is this place? Past 50 days, home. Cozy. <laughs> Cozy. The handiwork of those people you were telling me about? Stalkers. You said you had everything you needed in your tower. How come you're out here looking for her? I never told you I was looking for a woman. I believe that we have been lured here under false pretenses. So it was Alicia. Who? Alicia. Stalkers! I really thought this was Victor's group. Oh, did he get tagged? There goes a ranger. Two rangers. Where is Alicia? Where's Alicia? <sighs> the Franklin. That's where Teddy took her. I don't need you. I'll make the journey myself. Wait, she'll never forgive you if you do this. Because I know who you are, Victor. She told me. I want to show her how wrong she was. That's how I win. <laughs> <laughs> Ego. And how does dude know Alicia? Victor! Oh, are we going to see Alicia versus Victor too? I mean, I guess they didn't really leave off on a good note, so... Hold it! How'd you find me? There's only so many places to hole up around here. Now how about you start answering some of my questions? <laughs> Ooh, the tables have turned now, Victor. You tried to kill me twice today. You sacrificed every single one of your guards. All so that you could find Alicia and tell her how great you are. You knew who I was the minute you saw me, and yet you lied anyway. Because Alicia said you weren't exactly trustworthy. <laughs> I was testing you. For what? To see if you were worth saving. That tower succeeds because of me. All those people you got living there, they're just afraid of what you might do if they step out of line. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Authority on the subject because you work for a senator. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Stretch is killing it. Love it. You think she's so wonderful. Why aren't you there with her? That is a very good question. Did Alicia send him out to test him? She asked me to do something. What did she ask you to do? It doesn't matter. It would have protected everyone there, except for her. Maybe if I brought you to her. But after what I've seen today, I doubt she would even recognize you. So did Alicia start her own community? I was the one who gave that to her. I knew it would get your attention. I gave it to her so she could remember who she was. May I? Man, I still don't trust Victor here. Classic Victor. That's three times now, Victor. I thought if I took you there, it might have brought us together. She's better off without you. Yep, now he's gonna need Victor. Will, get inside. Yeah, what are you doing just standing there looking out at the zombies for, Will? I know them. They're from the bunker. Go figure. We were underground. We had enough food the last 10 years. Wow, 10 years worth of food? Dang. That's never gonna work. The odds that diesel even burns are one in a million. More logic. Appreciate the logic they gave here. Ah, uh, so they're gonna turn on the light, huh? I don't know if that'd be such a good idea, because what if it tracks a lot more? Maybe that's the plan, so. Oh, is this like a little shout out to Michonne with the sword? Victor! Get down! Look at Victor go! There you go! Was she? I didn't see her. No. Oh, we all know Alicia's fine. Why did you save me? You could have just walked away, but you stayed. You still care about her. So this is the fabled Franklin. <laughs> and I sound like Darth Vader. Gosh, wouldn't it be crazy to see Alicia with like a totally new look? I mean, this underground is still pretty nice. I just wonder how many people were in the underground. It's a ghost town. How many people lived here? 128. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what happened to them? Scouts killed everyone while I was doing maintenance in the air filter. Alicia! This whole episode's been a build-up about Alicia, so we better get some Alicia by the end of this. I'm getting impatient! There's the tree with no zombie on it now. This wasn't stalkers. Nothing was taken. I don't think they were attacked. This wasn't here before. She painted? 
Damn. Does that mean what I think it means? Is that like a symbol of Alicia's now the president? I think she did. Hmm. What is Padre? It doesn't matter. It was matter. exactly my question. <laughs> it's probably going to get her killed. Is it a person, place? I don't know. Might not even exist. It? Something better. Thought maybe if I found it first, she wouldn't have to. But... You loved her. That would be why he's working so hard to do this for her. It's all for nothing anyway. You were right. This wasn't about proving something to her. It was about proving something to myself. That I didn't need her. The truth shall set you free, Strand. Maybe that's the point of all of this. Maybe we're supposed to find her together. Or perhaps she'll find us. I mean, that painting right there is definitely a foreshadow of something. Oh, they took the light. Interesting. Using them, using zombies as horses on a wagon. Kind of genius. Gosh, that's got to attract a lot, a lot of zombies and probably a, a lot of unwanted people. How far will it reach? 15 miles, maybe. She'll find this place. Alicia is the closest thing I have left in Madly World. You're not the only one who loves her. I was really, really thinking he was going to do a Madison job there. I never should have left this place. It almost got me killed. I had a feeling that it would, but I, I didn't trust my instincts. You will make this place even better. You both will. I've watched as others tried to build a place like this. Each of them came close, but they all fell short for the same reason. Love. Attachments don't make you strong, Will. They destroy you. That light's not to draw Alicia in. It's to keep her and everyone else as far away as possible. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. They're strand. She'll get through to you. Uh, 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 no, she won't. What? She won't have anything to do with me after this. Oh, oh. Wow. Did not see that coming. <laughs> you want me to send somebody down to get a picture for the wall? No one in here is looking for him. That's going to draw more than the dead. Maybe even some of those people you were with before. People like Morgan Jones. I'm not worried about it. Oh, you should be, Strand. Anyone who tries to get to me is going to have to get through them. Oh, so that's what he's doing. He's building a zombie wall. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> oh, look at that. And that is all she wrote, folks. Let's fade it out. Interesting episode. I'm kind of conflicted because... I'm typically one who does not want to see just a but in my opinion this was just pretty much a bottle episode for Victor Strand. With bottle episodes, they do have a time and place, but I don't believe a season opener for season 7 is one of them. That's just my opinion. Of course, feel free to disagree with me down in the comments. Let me know why you disagree if that's the case. They open with through a different set of eyes which was introducing us a new character Will of how trashed everything is from the warheads doing what they did, right? All these walkers that are potentially contaminated, some are, some some aren't, that's kind of the danger of now, of all of these walkers, and plus that rain, which they highlighted greatly in there, which I thought the writers did a good job of using some logic to make us believe a little bit more, right? So I thought that was really done well. Then, Will, who are these strippers? Uh, oh, that sounds funny when I say that like that, but I think he was calling them the the strippers because they were doing all these things to these zombies and then we saw that that shootout there when Victor and Will were in progress of looking for Alicia back at the van where Will was hiding so is that Alicia's people I'm kind of wondering that now or is it the CRM but they were too sloppy so I don't think it can be the CRM there I want to hear you guys' thoughts on Victor as this new leader because I don't know if you guys noticed but that tower is pretty luxurious and the way that Victor is such a showman on everything he does and the way he pronounces everything is just gold in my opinion. I'm really glad they're making a strong focus on making Victor such a villain or in wrestling terms a heel. I think it's going to be awesome for this season. I mean they had just on the rooftop alone. So folks yeah it looks like they had uh, solar panels, they had some water treatments. I mean, they had a hell of a garden growing here. I mean, this is actually a really, really cool setup that Victor and these people have built. And I'm also kind of curious how Victor ran into all these people. Was it just him and the one guy, his, his servant, assistant, however you want to call it? Did they go out and start recruiting people or did the people come to the tower and find them? So I'm kind of curious about that too. And then of course the necklace is what's connected Will to Victor. 
I'm really curious to why Victor is still going real strong at trying to validate himself to Alicia, even though multiple times in this episode, he basically said, screw everybody. So at the end, when he just launched Will off that building, the zombie Will end up showing himself to Alicia somewhere. I don't know. It was just really interesting. And the zombie wall that he is building is like a fence or a wall, I think is really intriguing. We haven't seen that done yet. I am a little disappointed in this episode because all episode they were preaching Alicia and we didn't get it. I know some of you are probably really liking the buildup from when we do see Alicia, but I feel like this should have gave us something, even like a silhouette of a shadow of her or at least something. Again, my opinion, this didn't need to be a bottle episode. It would have been nice to see some storylines from Morgan in there. That could have been done. Let's chat this one out. Need to hear from you. I need to hear your thoughts. Give me some different perspective that I'm just maybe not thinking of. Again, eh, on this episode, Ender was pretty awesome. And again, I love the character of Victor Strand. Love the showmanship of Victor and every way he pronounces his words. So I'm really looking forward to that. And question for you guys. It did look like it was being set up Morgan versus Strand. But now are we actually going to see Alicia versus Strand? So I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts down in the comments. Let's chat this one out, folks. And until the next reaction, we'll see you.